every member of Congress should be doing the same thing. Why don't they? Because most are serving the corporate and globalist interests, not those of the people who elect them. We need people in Congress with allegiance to the Constitution, not the CFR, the Bilderbergs, or any other globalist organization. From the way the federal government continues to acquire more power and control through legislation, it is obvious that most people in Congress are working against you. They're not doing their job, so get rid of them. You have the power to fire them by simply voting them out of office and electing honest people in their place who will abide by their oaths of office. That way, we can repeal and change the laws that are destroying our country and replace them with constitutional laws. We have to clean house to get rid of the entire U.S. Congress. But how can we do that? Well, here it is, step by step. Look for your state on this and the following screens. If you find your state, look for your congressional district. If you find your district, make note of the endorsed candidate. If the senatorial candidate is listed, note that name also. Pause the DVD to give you time to search and copy the names. If you are not sure which congressional district you live in, call your Secretary of State or look it up by your zip code on the internet at the address shown on the screen. You can refer to these instructions again later. Use the DVD menu feature to jump to this voting instructions section. The objective is to have everyone vote for the same candidate. Start with priority one as shown on the screen. If you were able to select a candidate from step one, that is who you must vote for. If not, vote for a Libertarian Party candidate. If there isn't any, vote for a Green Party candidate. If there isn't any, vote for the incumbent's opponent. Rick and Dick have no association with either the Libertarian Party or the Green Party, and we do not favor one over the other. However, there are approximately 100 Libertarians and 30 Green Party candidates running for Congress. No other third party comes even close to those numbers. Asking you to favor the Libertarians, should there be a conflict, is a matter of strategy, not favoritism. Now, Dick, didn't we just get through telling our viewers that political parties were no damn good? And now here we are asking them to vote for a political party? Yes, but we are sure they will understand why it is necessary at this time. All of the major third parties advocate a return to constitutional government. They differ only in minor ways. Voting for the incumbent's opponent means that if the incumbent is a Democrat, vote for his Republican opponent and vice versa. These instructions apply to both U.S. House of Representatives seats and U.S. Senatorial seats. Note that only 34 states will be electing senators in 2008. If we rid ourselves of the existing corrupt Congress, then the new Congress can start from scratch, learning how to be corrupt. And now, one very important request. As we previously indicated, you could wait until you are in the voting booth to follow steps one and two. But you can imagine how powerful it would be if all of your friends and associates also knew who to vote for. Here is how you can provide them with that very simple information. Contact your Secretary of State and find out who will be on the ballot in your congressional district. Follow the steps we have outlined and determine who you will vote for. Now ask your friends and associates to vote the same as you and also ask them to pass the word on. It is imperative that you vote only as described here if you want to restore the freedoms the globalists are stealing from us. Get out and vote in the next election. We mean everyone. Be sure you're registered in time and then go to the polls on election day. Use absentee ballots if you can't get to a polling place. Concerned about rigged elections? They've been tampered with for years. 
long before computerized voting machines came into use. A famous leader once said, those who vote decide nothing. Those who count the votes decide everything. That was Joseph Stalin, the Soviet dictator from 1929 to 1953. But if everyone votes according to the strategy we've described in a united front, it would be impossible for those who try to control elections to manipulate the outcome without it being painfully obvious to the electorate. This is also a great opportunity for you as American citizens who have never held public office to run for Congress. These are the only instructions you will receive on voting, so be sure to refer to them again just before you vote. The government is your servant, not the other way around. You can take charge and tell them what to do. That is the way it's supposed to work. Spread the word. Tell your family, friends, and acquaintances, especially those without internet access. Even tell your enemies about this. And tell the people you know who have lost their jobs because NAFTA and other free trade agreements move them offshore. Duplicate and distribute as many copies of this DVD as you can. Arrange to show the video at house parties, libraries, and other places where a lot of people can watch it at the same time. Ask the person who gave you this DVD how you can acquire more of them to hand out. If millions of Americans see this video and vote accordingly, we can turn our country around. Remember, the globalists have all the money in the world. They don't have to work for a living the way most people do. So they can and do pursue their agenda for world government nonstop, 24 hours a day, 7 days a week, 52 weeks a year. Are you going to sit there with your arms crossed and let them trample your unalienable rights in their insatiable lust for power? Are you going to let them steal your future and that of your children and grandchildren because you don't believe the evidence we've shown you? Because it doesn't appear in the news? Or because you think this can't be true because it sounds so incredible and impossible? If you're looking for absolute proof of a conspiracy to create a one-world dictatorship, ask yourself how much of your current body of knowledge is actually based on absolute proof, as opposed to what you've read in the papers, learned in school, or heard from others. Perhaps you should ask yourselves if you are willing and able to think critically, or are you contented with letting others do your thinking for you? We've presented a lot of information in this video, and we said in the beginning to conduct your own investigation and confirm it for yourself. Most people won't do the research. They're too busy denying reality or working several jobs to stay afloat or looking for any job so they can eat and not questioning why that is their lot. Well, we have told you why. So, are you going to continue to let them steal your freedom without a fight? So decide whether you are a snooze button American or a rise and shine American? On the fence or on the offensive? A sit down American or a stand up American? Mark Twain said, in the beginning of a change the patriot is a scarce man, brave, hated and scorned. When his cause succeeds however, the timid join him, for then it costs nothing to be a patriot. How much are you willing to pay to take back your country. Saving our country is not a spectator sport. Get involved. You might even have fun. Remember, eternal vigilance is the price of liberty.